Uh, I think it does really fit this draft well. Before we hop into the game, we do have a very quick lobby remake for these teams. They're going to go ahead and get that set up. So we're going to take it to a quick break, and then we'll try and get back here as quick as we can to bring you guys the action. And that leadership payoff for the Valkyries in our first set of the day. We're going to take it over to Gormizer and Aggro to bring the game. That's right. We're going to figure out if the Valkyrie are going to be able to show up today. Not an easy starting weekend for them here. The Leviathans making sure that they are trying to start off as well as they covering can. Covering relatively low Omi. They don't have a lot of easy disengage from this Athena. No, there, there's good mobility for the back line between the Hachiman and the Raijin, of course, with their, with their mobilities. But overall, I think Leviathan's going to jump. Oh, Panatom going to jump in. A nice pluck onto Ducky. And they're looking to find the damage, but they don't seem to have enough. In fact, they've got Johnny over here. Oh, nice. A good wall set up. Blocks off Yarkor's X hat. And they're going to be able to find the damage. Ducky picks up first blood. Panatom just has to watch. Beautiful play from Ducky. We're not going to talk about the boost speeds at all. Instead, we're going to talk about how good <laughs> I the didn't even two notice. was that he put down. It was all in the name of baiting there, Gormizer. Perfect wall from Ducky. Does collapse it right away. Knows that the pin is going to come in. And Yarkor, without that charge prey, is the prey himself. A good turnaround and a good start for the Valks. Ooh, a good riptide in the duo lanes. That man looks to dash forward. Doesn't get the stun, but the damage is still there. Raffer's low. Emilito is getting lower. They're going to be just out of range here. Zap looking for blood, but not going to be able to find it. Still might be able to well? get some good pressure <laughs> here because purple buff is coming up now, or is already up, rather, for the Valkyries and the Leviathans. But if they don't know where Johnny is, they really can't afford to go for these invades. And if I'm Johnny, I'm just trying to stay out of sight, maybe try and force Leviathans off with just the threat of my rotation. Oh, there's a good Riptide. They bring Raffer back in, but the stun doesn't connect. It doesn't matter. The banner falls down and finds the kills. That man picks up one on the other side. And now maybe starting the Emoja. The game felt like it was done because the Emoja does so much for them. I have to double check just to make sure that is the case. It was the case for a long time on the Raijin as well. There's another good Riptide from Wrong Hue, but now it's Zapman maybe who bit off more than they can chew. Emilito gets aggressive, uses the ult, but the beads from Zap keep him on the ground. Emil backs off. Zap stays alive. Really like that play from Emilito, but now Raffer's caught. Oh, a nice River's Rebuke, but is Raffer getting aggressive? Taunts in Zapman, trying to keep him locked down, but Wrong Hue with the peel, it doesn't matter. Emilito is going to be able to find the last hit necessary and kill the opposing hunter. Love the aggressiveness out of this Valk's duo lane. They're not mask. After the, the nerf for this patch specifically, the 8.8 .8 bonus, and it's something that we've seen, I think, every other solo laner so far avoid. I'm waiting to see. Eros looks like he wants to get aggressive. Johnny definitely wants to get aggressive. Wrong, you might actually be in a bad spot here, surrounded by a couple members of the Valkyries. He's going to throw up the River's Rebuke. Not even look for the disengage. Instead, Panaton's going to go in. They've got the Tycho drums. They're looking for Johnny. One hit away, and it's going to be the follow-up from Shinto that cleans that one up. But Raffer goes in. A good taunt on the Panatom. He's low, and he is so close to dead. But no one seems to be able to close the gap. A good blink from Panatom gets him out of there, even with the rotation from Ducky. Shinto all the while zoning out zeros. Doesn't have enough get the kill, but should be safe from here. Still has a dash. Might be able to. Might have to use beads, but no, he won't. Love that play from Wrong Yu. Looks like he's in a really bad spot. And just Leviathan willing to hard commit on a god that actually threatens backline as a guardian. She does that much damage. And it's also, for the most part, unagusable damage with the way the ultimate works. A taunt on the Shinto. His beads get forced out and he's going to Thunder Crash out of there. Pow Pow comes through from Hanatom. Pulling in Johnny, gets the damage. River's Rebuke has completely surrounded him. That is going to be a clean jungle v. jungle kill. Although there was definitely some murky waters there. A little assistance from the team to help him lock it down. Incredibly fraught with violence. And so far, it's slowed down heavily. In fact, it's shifted over to mid. It's wherever Raffer happens to be. Unfortunately for Raffer, it is not him driving it forward. Taunt is what I'm looking for here. Shinto gets the Thunder Crash, but he's getting chased down. Half health, and the Valkyries are starting to swarm no, around him. Wall. But Zeros is out of the fight. They don't have the damage for it. Johnny comes in. A good taunt from the ult. That nine turns blessing will get the heal and get the kill. Finally, Shinto falls, and that taunt doesn't find a home on a Panatom. Look at Yarkor trying to stay off vision in case the Valkyries get too aggressive, but a good pick on a Shinto. Beads were down earlier, and the pressure has been there from the Valkyries. They've been active on the map. Oh, and Proactive is going to continue here. Gold Fury started up by the Valkyries, but they're not sure if they want to collapse in on it. Emilito, Rafa are going to be on that side. Yarkor finally gets involved in the fight, but he's half health. He's getting burned down by the surrounding Valkyries. That man's forced out of the fight as well. Yarkor barely staying alive, and the pin is going to secure the kill. Johnny picks up one. Wrong Yu, now isolated. River's Rebuke locked up, but he's not able to make it out of there. Ducky picks up a kill, and this should be a Gold Fury. Valkyries just bringing the CC early. Just too much damage 
onto these frontliners from the Leviathans. Yarkor waltzes in, thinking he's going to be able to do whatever he wants, but one taunt, and Emilito just nearly hung. You couldn't pay the man to use his relics like that, and it's because he didn't need to. Uh, just understood that Rongyu was going to be there. That little heal that Rongyu tossed out of the back end was really crazy. Well, now they're getting aggressive. Rong Yu is the one who is under the eyes of the Valkyries. They're getting aggressive. Good knockup from Zeros as the damage starts to run their way. The Tier 1 tower doing more than enough to ward them away. Zatman now isolated and alone. Still has his relics, as you had highlighted. But up onto the Powwow goes Panatom. Zatman is the one who's getting aggressed on. Ducky gets pulled out. Rapper is the first to fall in this engagement. The Valkyries wanted it, and the Leviathans answer. They sure do. Emilito puts down Zatman, and now the Leviathan still on the run, but Yarkor plenty help. Yeah, changing everything he can. Emilito just trying to get out of here, trying to get through the Bifrost, but it's not gonna take him. Yarkor finds that kill. Good damage turnaround. Carry for carry with a sprinkling of support, and it's a two for one in favor of the Leviathan. The other Bifrost, Chris, who wants to go in first? How are we gonna use our relics? Those sorts of things need to be communicated ahead of time. Well, Zatman, as I just saw a crit pop up, did finish off the Wind Demon. There's a ton wrong. Yu is locked down between three. But will he be able to make it out of this one? A good Riptide tries, but it's not going to be enough. They collapse in, and they kill the support, no problem. Double taunt, just so difficult to deal with, even as a frontliner. Surprise that Yarkor went Mantle instead of Spirit Rope. The Leviathan, Zatman gets a Draugr, but they get the Oni Fury on the other side. The Valkyries more than happy with that. Zatman uses his ult, but Raffer goes in anyway. The taunt is going to be there, keeps him engaged. Johnny looks for the kill. Johnny finds the kill, and they all manage to get out with their lives for now. Panatom right around the corner, catches out Johnny. Blink for blink. Panatom gets out, but the dash is going to be good. The shots from the Powwow follow up. Johnny will fall down here, and Panatom potentially trying to chase off Raffer, low health as he's lurking in the left side jungle. Feels real bad there for Johnny to, to use the beads and then die anyways, because just the shot damage from the powwow wasn't enough. Oh, Raffer blinks in, low health, one hit, but it doesn't matter. Panatom follows him and gets the kill onto that, but Panatom now might be the one who ends up falling, bites off more than he can chew. Inolito and Zeros versus the world, it feels like. Your core has made his way to the duo lane. Inolito gets through the Bifrost. Rongyu was waiting, and a great <laughs> Riptide locks him down. Yarkor gets the kill there. Now it's the question of lockup onto Zeros. So they've got a minion wave. It feels like Yarkor wants to go fight, but nobody else is there. I'm sure they do want to go fight, but I don't think they're going to find a whole lot. Fire Giant started by the Valkyries of all teams, and they're going to go ahead and taunt Yarkor. They pull him in. He's alone as of right now. Rong Yu will be joining the fray. But it's slowly but surely morphing into a full five on five. Yark War still low. Johnny gets aggressive and is trying to chase down Shinto. Won't be able to get the kill and instead turns his eyes to Panatom. Goes up onto the Pow Lao and now the Daji is looking for some chains. A couple of shots towards Rapper pulls him on back. But it's Shinto, it's Panatom who are in danger right here. Panatom goes down and Johnny is chasing down the mid laner. One more hit is all he needs, but a good Thunder Crash gets him out of there. So far, a one for none. The back line from the Valkyrie so healthy too. I mean, they are not under any pressure. And they've got the sustain on their side from this Terra. They can go right back towards this Fire Giant. The big key, though, is that Shinto still has Taiko drums, but he backed. He didn't stick around. Now, Rong Yu is here. No Rivers or Buke and nothing to help separate the team. It comes off cooldown right as I say that, and he isolates the Fire no. Giant. He's going to be walking forward. Valkyries managed to secure this one. Rong Yu's going to have to back off. Zatman is here as well. But the Valkyries get themselves the Fire Giant. Yet it doesn't seem like the Leviathans are done. That man wants to go in. Zeros has been isolated. He is sitting here alone with the team. Aegis has been used. The Tycho drums rip through and kill off the mid laner. A good pluck onto Emilito, and he is isolated, but the Bifrost pulls him out of there, and the rest of the Valkyries will stay safe. Still, they lose Zeros. It could have been worse. I mean, I thought Emilito was going to die after that. Lose. Probably ringing true in the next fight. Have to imagine so. I wonder what Yarkor is building, because there isn't crit on the other side, so Spectral doesn't make much sense to me. I would really like to see that be a spirit robe. I think that that mitigation is so important to this comps. Well, River's Rebuke thrown out, traps Rapper and Ducky. And that Phantom Veil is still available. They're not going to use it. Rapper is already half health. The aggression is ringing true for the Leviathans. And the Tycho drums get a little bit of damage out there, but it's not enough to lock them down. And, well, Kristan corrected. Shinto finds the kill for Ducky. And now Emilito's just locked up. Zapman is able to find the kill onto that. They get rid of two. And now it's a 5v3. Johnny seems isolated. He gets the top, but it doesn't seem to be enough. They're chasing him down. A little bit more damage will do the trick. And Shinto picks up another. Just two spread out there from the Valkyries. Johnny is trying to 1v1 Panatom, who can just go. Nah, I don't want to 1v1 you. I'm just going to powwow and, and waste your time entirely. Johnny is a non-factor in that fight. 
and Panatom's able to hop down from the powwow and then go be a factor in the fight. But they, the fight was already kind of decided at that point. D Ducky holds the Phantom, and I just don't know what he's waiting for. You know, the They're not trying to put up a fight around the tier two. Left side goes down. It's another 1,500 gold in the pocket for the Leviathans. Panatom has been, and kind of surprised me, but he, he was the tank for him. Rivers are beat on the left-hand side. Maybe the Leviathans just ult out of the Tiamat as that tornado chases down Shinto and tries to get some damage in there. But it is the siege on the left-hand Phoenix right now for the Leviathans where they're trying to find their aggression. Yeah, I think that overall this Tiamat should be very strong. I mean, losing that Phantom does hurt you on the re-engage, but Rongyu's ult being down also helps. Well, they're going to reassess their way in here. Rongyu, like you said, no longer having that <laughs> Riptide or River's Rebuke is going to be big. Kao Lao thrown out. It's going to get beased by Johnny, not by Ducky. Ducky is going to be able to stay alive with a lot of his health bar, but Johnny's incredibly low, and that's going to be oh! the engage from Panatom and Yarkor. They get the kill there. Left side, Phoenix goes down, and Rongyu finds Imolito. Zeros is crawling back to the base, hoping to get some healing. Same thing for Rapper, and Ducky's just trying to root the rest of the Leviathans and lock them down. That man's low health, though. They're going to fall back. The sustain necessary. Divide and conquer for the Leviathans. They win their 3v3 in left. They win their 2v2 in mid. And they're going to win game one without some crazy Yeah, now heroics. they have so many minions running in with them, but it's a 3v5. Let's see what the Valkyries have to offer. Ducky is gone. Rapper forced to run back to the Fountain. Zero's not even leaving the Fountain right now, but that's not stopping the Leviathan. Panatom runs into the enemy Fountain. Might end up costing him and will end up costing him his life, but they kill off Zero's. They kill off the Titan, and like you said, they take game number one. Look, I mean, the Valkyries did a lot of stuff really well in that game, and I think that the Valkyries drafted well earlier this week. They drafted well again today. A little bit That's sooner. It's all going to come down to having your escape with that dive bomb, being able to try and fight back with that ricochet and the mark of Golden Crow, and even putting the Suns out there. I'm gonna, it's going to be a lot of fun watching this dual lane pan out between these two teams. We won't have to wait any longer. Game number two between the Va Leviathans and the Valkyries starts right now. That's right. Kicking it off the 1-0 lead here for the Leviathans. And aggro, I thought that Athena Heimdall, at least well, won't hit five before those 85 seconds are up. But I can imagine he wants it more than anything to just be able to grab Immel and throw him to the Sharks. That should be an easy kill if it happens, but looks like it's going to be a purple buff invade attempt. And maybe successful there for Rongi. Oh, what a bounce! Banana, and that's going to be the jump in. Zapman just cleans him off. Zapman with the damage. Nobody could have expected that. Immel had no time to think about it. What a first blood for the Leviathan. Not as often yeah. as I'd like to see. I want more of that. Yep. Zapman's happily going to be able to provide a good first blood for them. Now it's time for the shoe to be on the other foot. The red team, Valkyries, getting aggressive towards the purple buff. Forced to disengage. Panatom with a blink drop kick gets the stun. Rapper does not have the mana to work with. Panatom makes a successful gank and kills off the support. Just not a great decision there from the Valkyries to go for that invade. I think that if we survive this Ikaval versus Hunter's both power spike for that man and not die there feels pretty good. Cool. Shinto gets pushed in the mid lane, but Tiamat manages to jump out of there. Wrong use here and they're trying to help out with the knockup. The Taiko drums just short there. Johnny will be able to secure the kill. Zeros has no mana. Panatom is joining the fight. There is the kiss from the Sirket tossing Johnny back to the fray. Panatom makes Hello. the leap but goes the wrong direction, tries to cut off a path that isn't happening for Johnny, but he's got no Lord of the Afterlife and he's going to get taken down. Ducky jumps into the fight, but he's only going to be able to get a little bit of damage away. He, he's so big right now that he could probably take on both Ducky and Raffer in the fight, though, because he's got Tyrant. That man might not be that big, though. <laughs> he needs to worry a little more. He drops the Suns, but it doesn't save his life. Johnny picks up that kill. Wrong you. Well, just has to patiently wait now for his hunter to respawn. Really nice one play. Lane. I mean, Ducky's suffering the most so far, down about a level and a half to Yarkor, but it's not like, you know, the jungler is down three levels or your ADC is down two full levels. Well, we'll see what they can get done. Beads forced out by Zero. Thundercrash away. Rapper goes in with the ult and gets some knockups. Did not seem to affect Shinto in the least. In fact, they're going to get aggressive. They're going to get the drop kick. Panatom picks up the kill onto the support, and they aren't done. A good nice. two-man taunt from Rong Yu. Locks him up. Zero thunder crashes away, and now Rong Yu's in trouble. Johnny may be chasing a little too deep, though. Needs the hit and is able to get it with the sickle strike. Now it's the lockdown. Good stun from Panatom. Jumps away. Great knockup from Shinto. But no mana? The sun's dropped by Zatman. Seems like this one's going to just fizzle out. So it's That's what I think is going to be the, the, the next big drop for these teams. Wrong you. 
Well, we talked about his patience. He's going to be going in onto Himalito. He gets the ult, tosses him back, is waiting patiently for the dash. Good knockups from Ruffer keeps him just away that he's not able to capitalize on it and try to kill off the carry. No beads usage by Emilito. Trade the Zalt in case Rongi was going to try and leap on top of him. Needed that auto attack in order to proc the Zerket passive. Still don't think it would have been enough damage. But good patience there. Oh my god! Zapman with a great ricochet! Bounces off the wall, off the tower, and right into a waiting and patient Emilito. You couldn't have planned it better. I will. What? Poor Emil, bro. He gets double bounce, triple bounce. Twice off these just total random shots from Zatman. Unreal. I mean, uh, just uh, he plays pool perfectly there. Ducky getting aggressive. Johnny as well. The ones fighting the cage, maybe locking Ducky in there with them. Panatom jumps over the wall, kills off the solo laner. Johnny and Zeros are watching a couple of damage thrown back, but I see wrong you, and he is the king of two man taunts. Misses it this time, and that is going to end up saving them. They force the ult out of Zeros. He's going to fall back under that tier two, and we're going to take a look one more time at Zapman's perspective for this one. There's no way you could plan this shot better. Bro, this is crazy. Off the wall, off the tower to Emilito, and Johnny's like, hey guys, I'm... Never mind, I didn't see it. You know, I don't want to talk about it. Well, Shinto in a little bit of trouble in mid lane. Knockup's good from Raffer. Leap over the wall, followed by Johnny. He's going to have a nice little spin, some damage turnaround, and the team is here to save him. He runs out of here, Lord of the Afterlife. Stops the healing for a little bit, but Shinto is fine. Raffer is now the one isolated. Johnny half nice. health as well, and there's going to be a good Stygian Torment. Pulls him right back in, and Panatom picks up the kill there. Rong Yu chasing down Johnny, and we know where the mobility is here. Rong Yu should be able to catch up a blink use, taunt use, dash use. And he gets the kill. Beautiful setup there from Yarkor. Brings both frontliners back, and they think they've got Shinto. Nice. Forces the dash. The sumo slam is down, so that's the CC. Zeros is looking to jump forward. Wrong, he's still hanging around in the red buff. It's going to be the engage. He gets the taunt, he gets the dash, but it's only a little bit. A good stun from Yarkor as well as the ult gets dropped. Forces out the Taiko drums. The cage is dropped by Ducky as he joins the fray. Yarkor is low, but they walk on out of this one. The damage seems to be flying the other way. Raffer is isolated. Johnny is isolated, and they just have to find the kill. One more hit from Zap is all it's going to take. They kill off the jungler. Johnny just overextends, looking for that finishing blow onto Yarkor, and Yarkor just too tanky between that Bam Shroud and the Tyrant. Well, Ducky gets the stun onto Panaton. Some good damage thrown out by Shinto. Even better for the lockdown. One more hit is all it will take. The stun Aegis out. And that's wrong. You diving a Phoenix right now doesn't get the kill. Doesn't matter. Ducky died under the tier two. They still get something for their efforts. Great dive there attempt by the Leviathans. The double stun from Shinto. Just the field has obviously been uh, unmatched, particularly from Zap on the Soji. Well, there's a blink, there's a stun. Zeros is locked down. Thundercrash should be available. He's not going to get the chance to get it off. Doesn't have the beads. And that CC locks him down enough. 40 seconds now without a mid laner. And the Valkyries are forced to run away. Emilito gets he pressured is. out over here. On I don't know where you really step up because the CC Leviathans have is insane. Well, Panatom did not let Emilito rest. Instead, sticks around over in the left side jungle, finds the carry. And now they have a 3v5 to try and fight. Panatom gets locked. Gage leaps on out of there. Wrong Yu is following up behind him. The Calvary has come to save Panadon, though, and trying to lock down Ducky. And they're going to do it successfully. Panadon even gets the credit for the kill, the turnaround. Johnny goes deep, and Johnny should be able to get those one. No, but the oh. leap from Panadon's good. Not good enough. Johnny still manages to find the kill, but not without losing Raffer in the process. Now he is running for his life. Zeros is respawned, but he's way in the middle of nowhere. The Leviathan get themselves another kill, and they're happy with this. Essentially, of 11 of the 15 kills, 5, 1, and 4. 9 out of 15 there for Zapman. With some of those being very remarkable shots. Johnny is rotated over to the duo lane, and Alito's here as well. And Alito gets chunked down by Shinto, but they are just playing and waiting for the bait. Zeros is going to join the fray, quickly turning this into a 3v2, and it's going to turn into a 1v3. Shinto is left all by himself. They do get the one-for-one one trade. Emilito for Zap, but with Shinto getting locked down, Lord of the Afterlife use. Wrong you coming to save him, but not there in time. They lose the mid laner, but now it's time to turn it around. Johnny goes down. Zeros follows shortly thereafter, and the Leviathan still managed to make this favorable. Look, they trade two for three, but I like that play more for the Valkyries. I mean, how much gold is Emilito worth at this point? Like four? He, he's, he's level 16, he's an Ami that hasn't found a kill yet. 
it, the fact that you're able to get these kills on a Shinto and on the Zap, that should stop some of the bleeding for a little bit. The Leviathan should be limited in what they can There's do on five the five members of the Valkyries on the right-hand side of the jungle instead. That's a Freyoni. Looks like they're not even heading towards the, fi the Fire Giant instead. Shading up in. And they're going to get aggressive. Wrong Yu jumps in, but the Taiko drums come out. CC immunity there for zeros. Went to begin enough, but not enough to save Johnny, who gets thrown right back into the fray. Imolito dies in the process as well, too. Quick bursts, and they're going to go ahead and tick on a third. Ducky goes down a 5v3 as the Leviathans get aggressive. Right hand Phoenix cannot be damaged right now, but that's not stopping Panatom from running right past it into the Titan Room. Falls back and joins his team at the mid Phoenix. Guess about Leviathans were right. They didn't need a Fire Giant. They might be able to just end because they've got an Oni wave coming down the mid lane. 30 seconds without any of the other members for the Valkyries. 2v5. You had mentioned it, the Oni wave right here. They feel low enough. They're not going to test it. Zeros, Raijin, we see what kind of damage output that can be. They're going to go ahead, pump the brakes, fall back from the Phoenix, successfully taking it down. And Fire Giant's the only thing left. Maybe they go to left so they get the tier two. That seems to be what the call is. Yeah, make sure that this Oni wave right gets this tier then two. It's going to be tough. Fire Giant started up. Not by the team you think, though. Valkyries are the ones sitting on it. Yarkor is in the neighborhood. Just watching him. <laughs> He's going to do whatever he can to strip this away or to fight him down. Shinto joins as well, and there's going to be a lot of damage. Johnny jumps over the wall. Fire Giant still there and still low. And Leviathans are going to be able to scoop that one up. Zero stunned against the wall and killed off before he can do anything now. The Leviathans, five strong, Fire Giant ready. And they're going to go ahead and knock down potentially the tier two on right, but Rongyu has something else in his mind. Goes for Ducky as they look to try and clam up to the right-hand right Phoenix. Yeah, they'll get him with ease as well. That should put a cap yeah. on set number one here today. And look, I'm sure there are a lot of question marks in chat about that FG call from the Valkyries. I've got no problem with it. You've got, you, you are less than half of 1% to win this game from that position. You've got to try and make something happen. They, oh no! They, they, they tried, at the very least. Oh, they walk into the Titan room, they kill off Raffer. One more for good measure. Get rid of Johnny, and get rid of the Valkyries for today. Find themselves a 2-0. Much faster there in game number two. The Leviathans find that 2-0. I mean, I like the adjustments the Leviathans made. This